Hello everybody, and welcome to episode 32 of the Ultimate Iron Man series. This is UIM Brocky, my Ultimate Iron Man. On the last episode, we finished off 70 Prayer by training Slayer, and we've been working on 78 Slayer for this Master Clue Scroll. We're only two levels away now. Right now, we're in an Abbey Spectre's task, which is one of my favorite because it lets you pile up a ton of herb lore XP, which is always nice. Additionally, since we've been working on Slayer, I'd like to get Karamja Gloves so that I can teleport to Shiloh Village. To do this, I need to finish off the Medium and Hard Karamja Diary. So unfortunately, at some point in this episode, I'm going to be going for a Gout Tuber. Well, let's get into it. Ooh, Varlamore came out today. I'm really excited to get started. Um, I think in a few weeks I'll do all the Varlamore quests and maybe do Perilous Moons. Okay, I know it would be less confusing if I death piled by using a locator orb, but I'm too lazy to go to Ava every time. I think eventually I'll have to make the Drainer Manor teleport in my Nexus. How is he standing there on the edge of the world? You know, I kind of hope they put something to the north of all this. That wilderness expansion from a few years ago looked really cool. And it's always good to see a looting bag from the Zami Mage. I actually don't mind uh, how long it takes, but I like doing wildy steps because I'm tired of dropping them on the hardcore. First hard casket of the video. And we get a Bandos page 3. Nice. I think that's half of the book. I think we have like half of each book done, so let me go fill that in. Okay, I never realized how big the sharks would be on the ground. That's kind of freaky. And we could just eat those. Okay, how am I this far into my account and I've never been to the Karamja dungeon? That is so weird, man. I guess there's really no reason to come until I do the diaries. Huh. I kind of like music steps. They make me do things on my account that I would otherwise never do, like quests and stuff. It, uh, it's a really good motivator. And we get the medium casket. And... Ah, right, that's about average. Wow, okay. I'm actually really dry on this on Brocky Dios, my Iron Man. I'm like three times the drop rate, and that's why I'm still doing worm tasks in that account. That is so cool. It looks really cool, but it's also good for low-level TOA, so I might put that to the test later. And I brought my magic shortbow along to make the worm superior kind of trivial, and this is kind of nice, actually. Anyway, let's see if we can get a unique. No, but 3k uh, Slayer XP is something I'll never say no to. First long bone of the video. I feel like I get one of these like every other troll task, which is kind of nice. Free construction XP. Okay then, and there is a curved bone from the same task. That's somehow our first curved bone. Um, alright, that's like... I think 5k construction XP. And I do love safe spotting my Slayer tasks. There's level 85 range. We can now wield a Twisted Bow. Alright, let's go get it. Real talk, I'll probably be going for a Bofa this summer. Alright, and it has been a while since I've turned in a Curved Bone, so I don't really remember how much XP they give. Okay, wow, 11k for those two. Awesome. That saves me a couple of Mahogany Homes contracts. Another strength level coming in. Level 85, which gives us 100 combat, nice. We can now get tasks from Duradel, which is kind of what I've been waiting for. Well, I was doing this task on mobile, and I got a Dragon Spear. That's Dragon Spear number two, so I can now make the other stash unit with it. And our first Duradale task is to kill 21 Skeletal Wyverns, which is kind of one of my favorite tasks. I just need to get my Rune Crossbow out. Although before I get back to Slayer, I think I'd like to finish off the Karamja Diary. Uh, at least up to hard, that way I can get my Karamja Gloves and easily teleport back to Shiloh Village. And I might replace my Seed Pod with that uh, for my emergency teleport. Well, let's get started with the Medium Diary. 
didn't realize I'd need to make a sled to do the stash unit. I love this really intuitive content. Do I have to make this every time I get the clue step? And sledding down the hill, I realized I forgot my planks. So I'm gonna have to do this again. Yay! It's not that bad, actually. Okay, now I can make the stash unit. Easy 600 construction XP, and now we have both Dragon Spear stash units built. And we are starting on the Gout Tuber hunt. Um, I'm not sure which jungle I'm going to go for. I think I remember doing medium jungle in my main, but it's been so long since I've done this. Well, hopefully I can at least finish this today. Okay, I don't believe it. It That only took like 10 minutes. This is awesome. Okay, so the medium diary is going to be done today. Awesome. So I think all I need to do is trade this for a machete. Okay, I got my gems before realizing I actually need trading sticks, so looks like we are going to stick through with the Tai Buo Wan Ai favor. Alright, 473 trading sticks should be enough to get the low tier machete with opals. Let's see... Alright, hopefully going through this interface is the right way to do this. I don't want to have to get another Gout Tuber. Makes me kind of nervous. Alright, did we get credit? Yes, okay. That should be the hardest medium step. Nice. I'm going to be perfectly honest, I do not enjoy Agility Arena. Oh, and apparently the Agility Arena tickets are a collection log item. And there is 100% Favor, which is another task. Chop a teak log complete with my iron axe. That took a while. And chopping a mahogany tree, taking even longer. Any day now. I mean, this is my fault for using an iron axe, but I didn't feel like getting like a rune axe or anything just for this. Any day now. There we go. Wait, is chartering a ship not a task? Let me see. Oh, it's from the shipyard from the quest. There we go. Charter a ship from the shipyard in the far east. And this task is kind of a weird one. I thought it would be like to defeat a demon up here, but apparently just going to the top of the stairs is enough. And there's our task. And as soon as this thing follows me over the pit. And that is Trap a Horned Grack. Which, what is that? As soon as I get the fish barrel on Brocky Dios, I'm going to become very acquainted with this fishing spot. And there's all the medium tasks done. Alright, let's see if we can remember which NPC to talk to. Alright, it is Jackie the Fruit. I've completed all of the medium tasks in my Karamja Diary. Oh, apparently the medium diary does give us an agility shortcut, but it's not the one I want. The one I want is the one that allows you to bypass cutting your way into the jungle. And this one, I don't know if I'll ever really use it, but I guess it's cool to have. I think the Karamja Diaries give lower XP in their lamps, but we're obviously going to pop this straight onto Herblor. For 5k XP, we're still getting pretty close to the level, so... And getting started on the Hard Diary. There is Make Nature Runes from Pure Essence. And for the next task, I'm fighting in the fight pits against... myself.
It was a tough fight, but we managed to pull through in the end. And there's another hard task for becoming the Fight Pitch Champion. I'm kind of curious to try the Shopscape Karamblan cooking method. It seems like it's pretty good for UIM, but there's another hard task. I'm gonna go ahead and do two tasks at once. I don't know why picking up a palm leaf is a task, but it is. And we managed to cook all three. There's cook and umli wrap completed. Alright, for our next task, we have to kill a bronze dragon, which we are not really geared for. I think if this doesn't work out, I'm going to take the dragon spear out of my looting bag, but we're actually hitting pretty good. Let's go ahead and turn on piety. You know, back in middle school, I wanted nothing more than a pair of dragon plate legs to call my own. It's kind of crazy how much the game has changed since then, but it's also kind of crazy that it's still kind of stayed the same in a lot of ways. 17, 18 years later, and I'd still kind of lose my mind if I got a dragon plate legs drop. Not bad, actually. I still don't think I'm in a hurry to do any bronze dragon slayer tasks, at least until I get the trident, but that wasn't that bad. And no dragon fire ward drop, but we do get the Karamja Hard Diary taken care of. Alright, I am very excited for this diary. These gloves are going to be a huge game changer. Obviously the Elite gloves are better, but the hard gloves I used, I think, all the way almost through 99 Slayer on HC Brocky Dios. This also gives us access to the underground gym mine, which is a lot more chill than fighting for the above ground one. Oh, and I didn't realize we also get a free revive in the fight caves. Anyway, let's pop this on Herblore for 10,000 experience. Nice, and test out the gloves. Man, I love that those have a unique animation. They could have just had a standard teleport animation, but they went the extra mile, which is really nice. And this is how we're gonna get to our Slayer Master. <laughs> I always love when people get confused by me death piling. Well, that is gonna do it for this episode. We didn't get the Slayer levels that we wanted, but getting the Karamja Hard Diary is going to be so nice for our Slayer grind. We're still going to work on Slayer all the way through 78 to try our luck at that Master Clue Scroll in the next episode. In addition, I do have a couple of long-term goals. First, I'd like to get 85 Slayer for an Abyssal Whip. I'd also like to get 85 Crafting so that I can boost and make a Fury. And I'd like to work on my quest cape, so that I can complete the Lumbridge Elite Diary and ditch the Draymond Staff. These are all long-term goals, so there's going to be some short-term ones that pop up on the way, which kind of keeps things fresh. Additionally, I'd like to try my luck at the Corrupted Gauntlet to get a Bofa, and I'd like to go to Tombs of Masket and put that Dragon Sword to use. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!